life, love, relationships. Wait, we're going to give away all our secrets? Welcome to The Man Perspective with K-Man and the Dawn. Today's topic is what's the biggest obstacle you ever overcame or overcome in your life? Hmm. That's another deep question. I would say for me, I'm a childhood cancer survivor. Five years old, I was diagnosed with bone cancer, went through a year of chemo. It ended with an amputation of my left leg. Yeah, I mean, I beat cancer. Wow. I think for me, one of the fears that I had was was water, being in an ocean. See, in my country, what they used to do is to teach you how to swim. So I'm from the island. And what they would do is they would throw you overboard and make you swim. I was about maybe, what, five, six years old. I was in Bermuda. And they took me out on a boat, right? Some of my relatives took me out on a boat, went way out where you can't even see the island. So we're in what they call open water, right? Deep water. I was about six years old. They threw me over the board. And when they throw you overboard, they throw you a, a, what they call a dinghy. One of those little round, you know, floating devices. And tell you, you know, kick your legs and, you know, swim towards it. Some kids got it. Me, I didn't get it. <laughs> so I ended up, I almost drowned actually. And uh, I must have went, I don't know, maybe 20 feet deep or so until one of my relatives actually jumped in the water to save me and bring me back onto the boat. But they was all perfect swimmers, so they was used to it. I wasn't used to it. Mm. And for years, it took me years from the age of six to like through my teenage years, I couldn't even go into a pool. I couldn't go into a uh, beach, into the water, because it was always that fear of, you know, drowning. We're in winter. It's cold outside. So cuddle up on the couch, light a fire, and tune in to The Man Perspective. Hope you got your pillows and your blanket. Snuggle up with The Man Perspective and learn all you can about your significant, the significant other. The Man Perspective. With K-Man and the Dumb. As I got older in life, I learned how to, you know, go into the pool. And it's funny because, you know, when you're a grown man and you go into the three feet pool, <laughs> everybody right. looks at you. They like, oh, uh, you know, you in the kitty section, you know, come on over here with the, you know, the six feet. And I just couldn't because it was that fair. But over time, I got used to, you know, learning how to uh, swim underwater and things of that nature. I still can't swim to this day. But I can feel a little bit more comfortable being in the water. I can swim underwater and things like that, but I can't actually swim on top. And going into the beach, I can go to the beach now and I can go in the water, have a good time and, you know, swim a little bit and have a ball. But I don't go too far out. I don't go too deep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I know I'm not a good swimmer. But it took me years to do that. I'm talking years, well over 15, 20 years just to feel comfortable and being in a pool and being uh, out the, in the water. But uh, yeah, that was a near-death experience. I almost drowned. You know, thank God I didn't. It was a very strong something I had to overcome over the years is get back in the water and feel comfortable. And now I can be in a pool, you know, I can go into the beach and uh, swim a little bit and feel comfortable and not feel any kind of anxiety. Mm -hmm. So that took years to do, years to overcome that. But I'm so glad I did. I'd definitely like to hear your stories. Hit us up on themanperspective at gmail.com. Or use the hashtag themanperspective. Now you heard our perspective, it's time to hear yours. Get at us at themanperspective at gmail.com. Or use the hashtag themanperspective.